Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIWay. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. In this new video, we'll see the new card visual in Power BI Desktop. So, let's get started. In the latest Power BI June 2023 updates, Microsoft introduced a new card visual feature, which we can use to display multiple cards in a single container and have full control over every component of each card. As you can see in this page, we have this example where we use the new card visual to display two measures. So let's create a new one and see the options we have for this new amazing visual. First of all, the preview feature is already turned on by default and to access the new card visual, we can find it in the visual gallery. Let's add the visual to the canvas, then we add the measures we want to display. The new card visual can support multiple fields and we can change the order depending on how we want to display them. Next, we can change the style of our new card. We select the visual, then go to the format pan where we can find the formatting settings. The first option is that we can customize the shape corners. We can select rectangle, rounded rectangle or snip tab and we have the ability to customize the shape corners to achieve the desired style with precision control. Next in the callout, we can change the formatting settings for the values and labels with expanded support for conditional formatting and the introduction of font transparency. Let's change the color, transparency and text alignment. A new feature show blank as is added to display a proper content when no data is found, which is very useful. As you can see, when data is found, it displays the value, otherwise it displays what we defined previously in the show blank as feature. We can put what we want as a content. Note that we can apply all these modifications to all the cards or apply them for each one at a time. For the label, the main options are the transparency and the position. We can display it above or below the value. And we can change the spacing between the value and the label. Next, we can choose from three dynamic layouts, horizontal, vertical, and grid, and control spacing and text alignment. For the grid orientation, we can define the number of rows and columns. In the cards tab, we can change the padding and border shadow and glow which we can find in other visuals
but the interesting features are the addition of an image and accent bar. For the image, we can browse it or add a URL link to it. So let's add an image, then change its options. Now let's activate the accent bar and change its color. Now that we can add tooltips to the new card visual, just create your tooltip page then add it in the format pan of the new card visual. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comment, please post them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWI. See you in the next video.